Okay, here's a couple of scenarios. You have a side hustle and it's doing really well and now you wanna form a company. Or you already have a small company but it's just not getting recognized the way you want. So if either of these scenarios fits your situation, then what you really need to do is understand branding. So in this video, what I wanna do is talk about what branding is, why you need it, and how to create one. And in, in this case, I'll show you the tools that I use to create my brands and things that I use every single day as part of my business. So if that interests you and certainly you need branding, then this is the video for you, so stick around. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now, before we begin, I want you to pay attention to that logo rolling across the bottom of the screen. That's the logo for this channel. And when we talk about branding, that's part of it. So it, it really identifies this video as something from my channel. Uh, it has standard colors and fonts and all kinds of things that I use everywhere else. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about branding. So in this video, what I'll talk about specifically is a little more detail on what branding actually is and a lot of detail on why you need one and then even more detail on, on the steps I use to create not only this logo but just the whole brand in general. And I'll show you the tools that I use and uh, you know, spoiler here, I use Kittle. I've talked about Kittle in, in numerous other videos. There's actually a playlist on my channel for Kittle stuff. It's the tool I use every single day for this kind of thing. It creates my thumbnails, it creates my logos, fonts, colors, all the things that I use as part of my YouTube business, as well as a, a different brand for, part, for my regular day-to-day -day business. And those are the things we'll cover. And by the end of this, if you're willing to use Kittle, then you will also be able to create these brands really quickly and modify them as you need to. And Kittle makes all of this simple. So let's get started and we'll start with some justification here. The first thing to do is to figure out what a brand actually is. And it would be easy to say it's just a bunch of colors and fonts and maybe a logo and some imagery of some sort, but it's actually a whole lot more than that. It has value. And in fact, it's probably one of the most valuable assets of any company. Think of, of Google or IBM or Coca-Cola, any big valuable company. They live and die by their, by their branding. And that's why it's, it's such an important thing. So what I did was I went to Investopedia, which is a great business source, and found a definition for a brand. And I'll read it verbatim because some people use Google Translate on the videos here. A brand is a name, symbol, or other marker that businesses use to distinguish their products from competitors and foster a public identity. That's a lot of buzzwords, but the really important word there is identity. Your brand is your identity. It's who you are. Now, a brand, in the case of the, the video here, a brand is, in effect, uh, the identity of your business. And I brought up one here. It's typically a logo and, and definitely some standardized colors and fonts. But we live in the age of multimedia and, and social media, so a brand could be more than a business. It could be you. And think of movie stars, politicians, and hey, even me. So it doesn't have to be a a company specifically, but we will keep it in that context for uh, the remainder of this video. Uh, I didn't want to dwell on this too much, so I'll just kind of summarize here by saying there's a few goals that brands have. And the first one is to communicate an identity, who you are, who your company is, uh, whatever. Uh, the second one is to create a standardized marketing message, and that's the colors and the fonts and the logo and all, and all of those sorts of uh, assets. And the third thing here is to realize that it is actually a very important asset to your company. For a lot of companies, it is the most important asset they own. And you have to think of it that way. You have to protect it. And it does provide some identity protection. Just putting my logo on a, on a video uh, kind of helps with that. But once you have a brand, you can then go and trademark it if you really want to, uh, you know, get big in your company. So, that's, that is kind of the essence of brands. Now let's take a look at actually how to use Kittle to build one for ourselves. Now, if you don't know what Kittle is, I have the homepage up here. This is a web-based, very simple, yet incredibly powerful graphic design tool. I use it for all of my content for this channel, including uh, thumbnails and uh, logos for sure, all the coloring. You'll see a lot of the, the graphics that fly around on, in videos. 
those are all initially created with Kittle and then animated with my editing software. But I have, I, on the main page, you'll see a bunch of templates that got created by other users and you can start with one of these if you want. But right now I'm just gonna go to my branding project for this channel. And you can see I have a couple of logos. One is in color and one is, is monochrome as well as I have the banner page for my channel. And if you go to the, the Steve Makes Everything page on YouTube, you'll see that banner up there. But what makes this really interesting is rather than things being say yellow and blue, if I click on this yellow circle, you'll see rather than it being some uh, hex code color definition, it's actually called SME yellow. It's Steve makes everything yellow. Uh, similarly, the blue, the gray is also uh, the border, the outline border you'll see is also SME gray. Uh, even on the monochrome, I've created uh, SME black and white. Uh, that's only in case I ever want to change those colors to something else. So. So there's no real hard color definitions here. All of the colors I've defined are in my brand template. And where you find those things is this little suitcase over on the side. And this has been in Kittle for a long time, but you'll see that there's this new thing called brand kits. And if I click on that, you'll see my, my Steve Makes Everything brand as well as my Slice Pie Design brand, which is my, my company. And you'll see all of these things defined there. So the green, uh, I put a green frame around my thumbnails, for example, and I've created that. So certainly colors are there, but you'll also see things like shadows. So if I just want to take this thing and I want to put a shadow on it, uh, I can select shadow over here. And instead of black, what I'll do is I'll select this, this little four dot thing. And anywhere you see this, that means you can attach a brand style to this. So I can just pick that and say, uh, put the SME thumbnail shadow and you can see it added the shadow there. So very little work for me. It means all my shadows look the same. Uh, same with, with fonts. If I look at this, it'll say uh, right now the font is, uh, is actually a typeface, but if I wanted to go change that and use my proper brand template, I would pick this and say, uh, use use uh, whatever my brand has defined for that font. So it's really that simple and uh, it's very easy to create these. So what I can show you now is how I actually created these ones. Now it's entirely possible that you already have a logo of some sort. Maybe it's something you AI generated or you just threw together and you've been using it yourself for a while. Uh, and I'll assume that that's the case here. If, if you're starting from scratch, then uh, it's a whole other uh, effort to create your own logo. Now Kittle can help with that. And uh, I'll sh show you a bit of that, but we'll just start with someone else's logo and we'll create a brand based on that. And we'll, we'll pretend it's our own logo. When you look at Kittle, the front page, it has all of this information here, but we're, we want to start with something simple and it has a bunch of starting points and one of them is logos and I'll just select that to start and we'll find something simple. This, this is actually a simple logo. So let's start with the assumption that this is the logo we've previously created for ourselves and uh, we'll go with that. So what I want to do is now create my own brand and I can say create a new brand kit and we'll call it the SME test brand. And so now we have a brand. Let me close my other ones here just so that it's clear. And you can see the, the test brand there. So now let me assume that we're, if this is our logo, we want some standard color. So we'll pick this, this logo, the, the, the guy, the fle flexing his impressive muscles. And uh, if I go here, you can see when, it, when I selected that, it chose the, the hex code color for that. But if I click these four dots again, this is the style, I can say add a new style and we're gonna add it to the SME test brand and we can give it a name. And the name could be, you know, corporate green, we'll say. It could be anything you want, it doesn't matter. And you can change it later if you need to. 
So we can add that style to the brand kit. Now if we go back over here, you'll see that there is now a thing called corporate green. And what that means is if I draw something, let me just grab a, a shape here. If I, if I grab, let's say, this circle, then I can just come up here and say, make this uh, corporate green. And it's really that simple. So we could do that for, for all of these colors. And let me just get rid of this one. And we'll call this one, uh, again, we'll add the style and we'll call it corporate white. And this one, again, is very simple. So the background here, if we go look at the background, you'll see that there is a thing called background and it's got a black color. And again, we'll add the uh, the new style and that will be our corporate black so uh, that's colors and you can see if i if i go back to the to the brand kit here we now have all of those colors and we could go and edit them we could look at them if we wanted to we won't we won't use them to change anything because you could select this and then go over here and say i want this to be green and it'll change it and that's a very easy way to, to take an existing logo that you have and create a bunch of colors. Now I mentioned that you could do shadows. You could define a, a shadow and then save that to your brand. You can do fonts, uh, pretty much any, any attribute that you can set on something you can create into your brand. So very simple and all you have to do is look for those, those four dots, that little four dot icon. And that's an indication that you can either set a, a an attribute with something from your brand, or you can take what you have on the screen and add it to your existing brand. So very simple. Now, before we wind down here on brand kits, I wanted to show you a real working example of how I use brand kits. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly build a YouTube thumbnail. And I have a thumbnail created here. Thumbnails in YouTube, by the way, are 1280 by 720 pixels. So, Mine have a border around the outside, so I'm going to drop a rectangle on here and we'll just squish it into the upper corner and make it the size of my background. Now, normally it's not a, it's not a full uh, solid color, so instead of a solid color here, I want to create, eh, we'll just do some cool radial gradient and let's say we go maybe a nice blue of some sort here. And the radial itself isn't really all that important, but uh, there's a there's a radial now. My borders are always uh, green, so I'm going to change the border to that. And my borders are always about oh yay thick. There is actually a standard thickness, but I won't bother right now. So that's the background on the border now. Typically, I would attach a picture of me in here somewhere. Actually, I think I have one on the clipboard I can just paste, yeah. And we'll stick, we'll stick me down in the corner. And uh, I have, uh, I usually put, put shadows on things. So I'll, I'll, select, uh, I'll select me and I'll go to shadow and I'll use the SME everything shadow. Now I also want to put some text on here and it will be uh, ah, just a headline will do. And it will be, you know, what on earth are brands? And if I could actually type, that would be awesome. So there's our, our text and I'll make it, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's say, we should make it grammatically correct. Now that text is not what I normally use, so I can just go to my brand kit again. <clears throat> and under my SME brand, I can say I want this to be the text shading that I use for brands and I want the text to be yellow. And there we are. It's really that simple. And then I could put 
something over here. Now, if I also wanted to do, um, you know, maybe a, a Kittle logo, I think I have one kicking around here somewhere. I can just drop that on and stick it up in the corner. And again, I could apply a shadow to it if I wanted to. And there you go, in real time, a couple of minutes, you watch me create a thumbnail for a video. And it was really that simple. And, and Kittle's brand kits made all of this possible. These things used to take me 30 to 45 minutes and you just watch me create one in minutes. So uh, I want to thank them for actually putting this in the product. It has saved me so much time and hence uh, saved my, me and my business so much money. And uh, I just can't say enough good things about it. Now, if you do want to try Kittle, I'll put a link in the description down below. It's not an affiliate link, but there is some tracking there so that the Kittle folks can acknowledge that people from the channel here are going over and, and trying things out and uh, give it a shot and, and see how you like it. It's generally pretty easy. And I, like I said, I've used this thing every day for the last eight or nine months and it, it just continues to save me time. So with that, I'll wind down. If you want to watch uh, uh, more, more videos on Kittle, you can click one up in the corner here and go see what I did in, in a previous video. And I'll say get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.